So here it is, all done. Our 12 inch Marlin lure. This is a 12 inch cherry bomb made by me. The head is actually made by me. Welcome to Road Ventures Hawaii, I'm Nick Morris. This is what we do. Like and subscribe, boys. What is up, my adventure crew? Nick Morris here. Welcome to another episode of Real Adventures Hawaii. If it's your first time here, welcome aboard. If you're coming back, welcome back aboard. Today's adventure is I'm gonna show you guys how to skirt those bigger Marlin lures with vinyl skirts. Uh, for today, we have our 12 inch cherry bomb. This is a lure that I made. It's a 12 inch plunger. It's an awesome Marlin lure. Uh, I'm going to show you how to start with vinyl. Um, I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks that I've learned from doing it and also some tips and tricks that some of the, the older guys that came way before me have done it and showed me. So pull up a chair, sit back, and let's get right into it. But if it's your first time here, hit the subscribe button, like button, and let's get on with it. All right, boy. And if you stick to the end, I'm probably going to give this away. So stick around to the end because I have a lot of toy slurs. But stick around to the end. This could be yours. Okay, so a few things we're gonna need is I'm actually gonna cut it on this cutting mat right here. It's actually from my lure shop. I actually brought it into my office. So don't mind the mess where we see in the background. There's just my office where I have all my cameras and a bunch of fishing crap. <laughs> okay, so first thing I need, of course, is gonna be the vinyl. This is just regular uh, car vinyl, I guess is what it is. People use it for upholstery and stuff. He buys it at the vinyl shop. I order mine online. Um, and when you order online, you kind of have to buy in bulk, so I bought a ton of it. But this color right here, I got a local fishing shop. It was like a, I think it's teal. What kind of color, but I'm not really sure. I think it's teal. Is that teal, Alicia? What is that? No, it's blue. Okay, it's blue, she said. So that works. It's like a baby blue. A color baby blue. Glitter. So first thing you need is you're going to need the, the vinyl. You need a good ruler, a razor blade, wax, rigging, thread. I guess what it is. Good scissors, uh, super glue. And last but not least is you're going to need a... A lure preferably 12 inch or bigger is what I've always done for vinyl you can go smaller but I prefer bigger lures for sure one more things two more things actually so this is called uh I don't I don't know the name I don't know the name of this it's actually mold craft it's made by mold craft and yeah, I don't know what they call this though uh, but it's just long legs okay and the reason for this is you can cut it shorter but there's something I want to try different today with mine uh, the way I'm gonna do this one I've never done before. I've seen some guys in the main I do it with smaller lures and just inside of lures in general. Uh, but I'm going to put some of this paper inside of it. But in order to use this reflective paper, you have to attach it to a, a bag or something that's plastic because it is sticky on one side, okay? So we have the reflective paper right here and a Ziploc bag. So we're just going to stick it. We, try to, we don't really want a whole bunch of bubbles in there, okay? So we're going to go slow. I'm going to rub it. Oh, I already feel bubbles. Excellent. So we're going to rub it, I'm just going to keep pulling it slowly, and we'll just put it on the uh, I see, Like I said, I've seen guys do it with small lures, I haven't seen anybody do it with big lures yet, uh, but I'm definitely going to scratch some 9 inches, 7 inch lures this way. We got it stuck pretty good to our, our plastic bag, uh, what we're going to want to do is cut this plastic bag out real fast. So like I said, I've been wanting to do this kind of for a while, make a lure like this. I was gonna make it a tackle tip, but you know what? We'll just add it all in one today. We're just gonna straighten this thing out at first, and hopefully it works. And pray, pray, pray that it works. Oh, it does, perfect. Straighten this out real fast. Okay, so what we did now is we have just the paper. It's clear on the inside now because we uh, stuck it to something, right? So for this to go on the inside, this is actually gonna go right here on this first ridge, okay? And I want it, it's inches. I want it to start kind of like spacing out at about, you know, one inch down. The inside of the plastic bag on it. And we're gonna go one inch down. So that right there is one inch down. So what this tells me is I don't want um, my cut to go past this. Cause I want it to be 
right about there on it. Okay? Doesn't make sense yet, but you'll see what I mean in a second. Quarter inch cuts on this guy. So go from the bottom, go all the way up to the line. And we'll stop right at the line. And move a little past the line because I can't see it. That's about right. There we go. So the next one, I'm going to move over again, quarter inch again. Okay, we'll stop there. It should be more than enough for what we need, as you can see. So what I'm going to probably do is I'm going to make these in sections of three, because you don't want to make it one big one. It's going to look funky. We'll make sections of three just to, to break it up a little more. So I'm just going to do is I'm going to cut it off in sections of three. Real simple. One... Two, three. Oh, that's a jacked up one. Let's get that one. One of them was kind of messed up. And now that's this is what's going to come into play next. This mold craft one I was telling you is about earlier. I don't know the name of it. I forget what it's called. But we're going to cut this as groups of four. One. We'll just cut four sections to be safe. Four. Put this on the side. Okay, so what we're gonna not do now is we're gonna attach it to the head, okay? So a little a little pro tip, okay? A little pro tip just to make sure everything fits good is these right here, so they're kind of cut wider on here. We're gonna taper it down a little bit, okay? Just to make sure that everything fits in there perfectly how we want it. So just taper everything in just a little bit. Okay? Like that. I don't know if you can see that. Just taper in just a little bit. Let's do that to all of them. If you're still watching this, you can probably win it. But I'll tell you what, you have to be subscribed. You know why? Because if you're not subscribed, you'll watch every video to the end. You never know when I pick the winner, okay? Here's, here's a little fun fact for you guys. Remember I did a giveaway like about a month ago where I gave away the, um, the Shimano pole? This is about a month ago I gave away the Shimano pole or the, the pen pole that I, I got that I bought on Black Friday, and I did the giveaway for it. That's the only thing I ever gave away, and the owner never did come forward. He never did say, oh, it's mine, I won. So you know what? You can cheat, and you can go to the end and see what I tell you with a comment at the end to win this. But if you don't watch the videos to the end, you'll never know who won. You'll never know if you win. So you gotta hit the subscribe button. Make sure you subscribe now. So you're gonna get a wax cord. A lot of people use value cord. I'll put a link in, the, in my bio for this cord. And what I'll do is I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it two wraps around I'm gonna wrap it in half just to stop from slipping, okay? And then we're gonna start wrapping this thing. So I know for sure I'm gonna want this silver down. There's that. And we're doing it, just make sure it's tight. Okay? You can always ink it tight later, but for now, just make sure it's kinda tight. And then next, we're gonna alternate. We're gonna put the yellow with the bump side up. And you're gonna wanna wax, put the cord right in front of that bump, okay? And let's put a little bit more next to it so it gives a nice full look. I'll hold it there. We'll grab one more of these. Make sure you have the right side up and down. Back. That looks good. We'll give it one more full wrap. Just because these, these papers slip kind of easily. You gotta be looking at it every time, just making sure everything's straight, okay? And then we'll get one more, our last one. We'll put it right here. Just so the lure doesn't roll around on me. Okay. So we have that like that. This right here. That'll lock it, okay? You don't really want to crank it down super tight because if this wax breaks on you, you're going to have to do it all over again if this wax card breaks on you. So we're just going to um, do like a surgeon's knot. So three times around, okay? That was maybe four, I don't know. Three times around. Uh, because it's vinyl, it doesn't really matter where the loop is. You know, when you're tying regular skirts, I kind of always want my loops on the bottom. This one, it's not, it's not like a deal breaker if you get it on the top because the vinyl's so thick, you're not going to see the bump. Okay, that looks good. So we did three times one way. Now we'll go three times the other way. I think it's the other way. That's going to be our locking knot. I 
Actually, I think I showed it twice. I don't know. I just go three and three. I think it's like a surgeon's not unlocking now is what it's called. I think. And that should be it. That should be good. So what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, cut this excess off right here. And if you look at that, oh, that thing's going to be shiny. Tell me that's not going to attract the morning. Or something big. I mean, there's a few, few charitable guys. I won't say their names, but they run 12-inch lures all the time for Audi. If you if you got Audi before, most of you have. I'm sure most of all you guys have, if you're especially from Hawaii. But everybody knows the big Audis come right behind the boat. Those big 200-pound slobs, they come right behind the boat. And lots of guys run 12-inch lures right behind the boat. The reason why you run big lures, like a 12-inch lure right behind the boat, okay, is the fish get attracted to the boat. No matter what, they get attracted to the boat. They come up to the boat, they see your first big plunger right behind the boat, which attracts them up from the deep, okay? They come up, they see a big plunger. What happens is when they drop back slowly, if they miss the plunger, they drop back slowly, they see all your other lures in your spread. So that's the reason most guys that are very successful run 12 inch lures right behind the boat. Look at all the big corner guys, all of the guys that slay fish, even some of the big charboats on here, they swear by big lures right behind the boat. So if you're not doing it yet, I suggest I ran a 12-inch lure my boat, behind your boat. You don't see me doing it right now because it's not really ahi season yet. But when it comes around the season, you'll see me starting 12-inch lures behind the boat. But here we go. It looks like this. It looks super ugly because we have all these bat wings on here, okay? We're going to cut those off with the razor blade. This. You see? There's some good tugs. It's not going to come off. But that looks awesome. So now let's get to the, the hardest video is tying the vinyl. It's a little bit tricky. This vinyl right here is 12 inches wide. And that's uh, pretty much as long as I want my vinyl to be. I don't even want my vinyl to be long. I'm probably going to cut it down some. That's way too long for me. But it makes it easier for me in a sense that I can... Um, this side looks straight. Let me see. What you want to do is you want to make sure your vinyl is all straight, okay? You line it up on something where you can make sure it's all straight. Because once you start cutting and it's all crooked, you're all jacked up. It's not going to be fun. Perfect. I'm going to mark it. I'm going to trim it right there. There we go. So now it's completely straight. Okay. That was probably the hardest. Okay, that's not the hardest part. It's going to get a lot harder than that. Trust me. An inch and a quarter. So one and a three quarter inches is what we want from right here. One and three quarter inches. Okay. So we're gonna fold this over. That'll be our that'll be our our stuff. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just measure it. You don't have too much. I'll make it a little bigger than what I need. I think I need like three and a half inches, I think. But we'll make it four to be safe. Bang. And that's where we're going to end it. So this is our whole piece that we're going to use right here, okay? But before we get to that, we have to mark our skirt. How long our skirt's going to be? So typically when you're making your skirt, your skirt width for the vinyl, I prefer like a 3 8 inch. I've tried um, quarter inch, and quarter inch to me just seemed too small. I tried half inch, and half inch is too big. I think 3 uh, uh, 3 8 inch is kind of like just perfect. It's right... It's, I don't know how to explain it. It just looks right when it does it. So we're three quarter inch the whole way down. So you see it's three quarter inch the whole way down. I th three three eighths of an inch. Sorry, not three quarters of an inch. What are you doing on the top? You got to do on the bottom, okay? Measure from the same side now because if you measure from the opposite side, it's going to come out different. So we'll go from the bottom. We'll do our same thing again. From doing this enough, I found out the easiest way to cut this, and it's probably not the safest thing to do, honestly. If you can do it, use a sharp razor blade, brand new razor blade. This can really get you badly hurt, so make sure you pay attention. We'll cut it all the way up, and we'll start right at the top line. Okay, that's one side cut. Okay, we'll go to the next line. Line it up, push down hard, and start the time lapse. This is what happens when you're not paying attention. See that strip? Uh, I'm gonna have a naked sp space on my lure, I think. 
It might be okay. We'll just try to run it with this one and see. Uh, I guess you can't really tell, huh? Look at that. Because it's so short razor blade, you can't really tell. I don't like the way it looks. I'm not going to run it like that. I'm not going to give it away like that either. I'm going to make it right if I'm going to do it. So let's redo it. I'm not going to show you guys that part though. Okay, so here's our old one. We screwed up. Did a new one. Okay. Here it is, all evenly cut, like I said, three eighths inch apart. And that gives us, to me, the nicest look when you spin it and you put it on the head, okay? And what we'll do next is we'll just wrap it around the head, right underneath that, that, that lip. See that lip? We'll wrap it right underneath that head, just so we can kind of see what's going on here. So we're all done. It should look like something like this, if that makes sense to you, okay? Uh, but I wrapped it on the head just to see where I'm at and I got a little bit of an overhang if you see you don't want it overhang I want it to meet up perfectly so I'm gonna have to trim some off I'll take one whole leg off and you want it a little a little loose because what you're gonna do is you're gonna stretch it. you're gonna pull it tight and stretch it okay so if you see here I got about one leg excess so I'm gonna cut off that leg And it's key now, you wanna make sure you go straight up on it. You don't wanna go crooked or anything like that. That's that. Now this is, I'd say this is probably one of the hardest, well, if you wanna make it pretty. If you don't care how it looks and you're like, ah, I can overflap. I know that a, lot of, a lot of guys make it just overflap like this. See overflap? I don't like that. I like it to meet up right against each other. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the lure, and we're gonna go over about a half inch. Uh, this part's a little tricky, okay? So I keep pulling it slowly and stretching it. That looks about right. So now we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap this guy. So, okay. I thought I was gonna be able to do it without it, but you know what? Need just a little bit of assistance with it. You gotta make sure you wrap it, you pull it all the way up against the, the top of the head, okay? Like so. And that looks well good right there. So now we're just gonna tie a knot like how we did earlier on the bottom side. This is where the magic happens now. So we'll cut off this excess. Put this on the side. So it looks like this now, okay? I have that gap in there. See that gap? You can see it. There's a gap. We don't really want all that gap, okay? So we're gonna do is we're gonna use the pliers. So pull it slowly, try to stretch it over. I don't care about the gap up here. It's the gap down there I'm worried about. The gap is pretty much closed up if you can see. See the gap? The gap on the bottom side is closed up. The gap up here is okay, open. And you're gonna have to have the gap on the top side. Okay, so now we're just gonna flip it over slowly. And this should be, should be perfect, we'll see. We'll see. I've done these so many times and we don't come out good. And like, shh, that came out like crap. Yeah, we do it again. So, that looks pretty good. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull it a little bit more. A little bit more this way. Close up that gap. Okay, see the gap? It's kind of closing now. See so the gap in the middle, okay? That should be almost where I want it. Should be right about there. That should be perfect. See, it's a real, real thin, thin gap, okay? It's almost perfect. It's almost perfect, little thin gap. And this is where your super glue comes into play. If you're really trying to get that real tight, tight gap fitted, you know what I mean? That's good right there. Should be good. So what we're gonna do is we'll put a little bit of glue 
on the back side of this guy and a little bit on the seam, okay? A little bit, it's like Viper Venom, a little bit do you. A little bit on the seam, perfect. More than likely my fingers will get stuck. That's just, that's just a given with this kind of stuff. So what I'll do is I'll put it real close to each other, real close. And I'll use something like this and I'll push it down with each other, right down the seam. I'll use the magic marker just to push it down on the seam with each other, right next to each other. That should be it. And right here. That should be golden. That's pretty much it. That should not come out, you know what I mean? There's a little bit of a gap there, but you know what, for the most part, it pretty much meets up perfect. If you see it, small little gap, small little gap, but it pretty much meets up perfect. So now all we have to do is chop down to length. For me, this is too long. Right here, the total length of this right now is 14 inches. That's too long. Uh, I typically want this at about 12 inches total. As you can see, a little bit of gap, but overall, I'm happy with the results. We can even make this tight right down here. And if I really find out if I was really, really picky about it, and I'm like, oh, that gap bothers me, you know what I mean? I could get a little closer, but nah, for, for my preference, that's fine. It's, it's so minuscule, it's nothing. So that's pretty much it. We're gonna cut it down to our length that we want. It's about 12 inches. A 12 inch head, only about 12 inches. Cut it out there. Perfect. That way. And now we have our our 12 inch cherry bomb. Look at it's perfect. Super nice plunger. This will be some Martin candy. And this is a 12 inch cherry bomb. If you're interested in one of these lures, you can message me on my Instagram. Uh, but this is the red, white, and blue here. Curse of the red, white, and blue. All right, so um, pretty much, I don't need it. I have lots of cherry bombs, but let's give this one away. In order to win this head, just comment Marlin Fishing. Sorry, to comment Marlin Fishing. Please, please, please give it a like. I need like at least 15 likes. I think like 15 likes will make my day. So please, please give it a like. Hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed. If not, you're gonna be like the guy that won the pen fierce. He didn't even know he won the pen fierce. I picked him as a winner. He didn't even claim it. it's been over a month. So you know what? He lost three. I'm not even gonna give it to him anymore. We're gonna give it back away on Friday. This coming Friday. I didn't go fishing it for Friday because the weather's been terrible. But I'm gonna go fishing it Friday and we're gonna give that pull away on Friday. So make sure if you're not subscribed yet, you hit subscribe so you can win this and win that. And I'll ship it to you for free. Completely free. Well, not free. I gotta pay for it, but you know what I mean. So like I said, Marlin fishing in the comments. And if you do fish from a boat, please comment. If you fish from shore and you don't ever go from a boat, please lead up for the guys that go boat fishing to win it. Um, or if you know somebody that fish from a boat, you want them to run it, give it to them, you know what I mean? But if you don't boat fish, please don't comment. Let it for the, the boat guys. Your chance is going to come up on Friday with the pen fierce. So don't worry, you'll get your chance to win something. As always, guys, tight line, stay fishing, and I'll see you on Thursday for our vlog. It's going to be good. Trust me, it's going to be good. We hit like three stores. All right, everybody. As always, tight line, stay fishing. Aloha. Hit right there, hit the subscribe button if you're still here. Right there, hit subscribe. All right, and watch the video right there. That video is super good. Just pick just for you.